So we have before us the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro and the HP Omen, both with i7 12700H CPUs and RTX 3060 GPUs, 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte SSD. So this is the perfect showdown between the HP Omen and the Legion 5i Pro. Now, first and foremost, we're gonna check out the build quality and then we'll get into the performance benchmarks to see which model has what it takes for your creative needs. Again, of course, as always, channel is for creative professionals, so subscribe and ring the bell if you don't miss out on the future uploads. First and foremost, let's go ahead and check out the build quality. As you pick up each laptop, I noticed that they are very similar in weight. And as we lay them down on the table, the thickness is almost identical as well. So as far as weight and thickness is concerned, which one is more on the go friendly, they are very, very close. Now I will say, because of these extra ports that are nestled along the back of the chassis here, the Legion 5i Pro is actually gonna be a little bit longer or wider, however you wanna say. But then the HP Omen, because the ports, a lot of them are on this side, as you can see, it kind of sticks out here on the side by about a half, almost a half an inch. Let's go ahead and switch them over here so you can see the HP Omen kind of sticking out there. So you can see it's, it's almost about a half an inch there, uh, the HP Omen sticks out. So that's kind of the differences in size. They're very similar. They just stand out differently as far as where they have the size differences. Now, as we go ahead and look at the build quality, let's check out the bottom cover of the Legion 5i Pro. Very nicely nestled in bottom cover into side panel. Great work here. Big bottom vent on the Legion 5i Pro. Uh, then of course we have speaker grills on both sides and we'll give an audio sample for those in just a few minutes here. And then we have vents on both side panels. Now, for the HP Omen, we do as well have that big vent along the bottom cover. Uh, before we get into that though, as you can see, the bottom cover fits into the side panel very well. It's a little deeper than the Legion 5i Pro. So if I were gonna pick a laptop on assembly alone, I'd go for the Legion 5i Pro. It just feels a little more hardy, a little more solid beneath my, beneath? in my hands. And then of course we have a vent on one of the side panels, not both. And then there's our speaker grills as well. Now let's do a little tap test on the bottom cover so we can see which one, you know, kind of sounds a little more hearty. So there's the bottom cover of the HP Omen and then switching over to the Legion 5i Pro. A little more solid and that has to do that the fact of this is an all aluminum laptop versus the HP Omen which has an aluminum top cover and plastic everywhere else. So the HP Omen however has just the aluminum top cover, aluminum keyboard deck, but a plastic bottom cover. So that's the big difference there. Now as far as ports are concerned as you can see here on the left side panels we have two USB type C's for the Legion 5i Pro. And then for the HP Omen, we have USB-C, HDMI, mini display port, USB Type-C, a network port, and our power adapter, as well as the headphone jack. Now along the back side of the Legion 5i Pro, we have our power adapter, two USB Type-A's, HDMI, USB Type-C, and then our ethernet port. Now on the other side of the laptops, for the Legion 5i Pro, we have our headphone jack, manual cutoff switch for the webcam, and a USB Type-A, and then we have two USB Type-A's for the HP Omen. So if you're looking for more connectivity, I would lean towards the HP Omen because it does have the SD card slot and a mini display port. Now, I don't know how many of you use a mini display port, but it does have that extra port of display connectivity. So keep that in mind. Now, as far as opening and closing the screens with one hand, let's go ahead and see how that does. So grab both of these laptops. They both open and close easily with one hand. And then let's uh, check out the screen flex really quickly. Screen flex on the Legion 5i Pro, very minimal. And then screen flex on the HP Omen, good bit more. So a lot more screen flex on the HP Omen compared to the Legion 5i Pro. Now overall, these laptops have had these similar designs for the past two or three years. And I think what has stood out to me the most is that the Legion 5i Pro has more of the premium aesthetic over the HP Omen. Now we're gonna get into the benchmarks here in just a few minutes and check out the performance. But as far as buying a laptop off of build quality, I lean towards the Legion 5i Pro. Now let's go ahead and come into the inside of the chassis here and look at the webcam. 
You see we have a webcam on both of the top bezels of each of the laptops. The HP Omen actually opens up slightly farther than the Legion 5i Pro, just ever so slightly. And here is a quick sample of the webcam so you can check those out. The webcam for the HP Omen, obviously you're hearing the audio right now. It is a little grainy in the background, but the color of the skin tones seems very natural, and so it doesn't make you really orange or super blue or green, so I really like that about it. This is the camera on the Legion 5i Pro, and a little audio sample for you as well. When I back up a little bit, it kind of mellows out. When I get really close, I'm really close to my light. So the camera actually looks pretty good, especially for that 720p webcam. Now, as far as the keyboard decks are concerned, you have a numpad on the Legion 5i Pro, where you do not have that numpad on the HP Omen. You have more of these just like random grouping of extra keys. So I lean towards the Legion 5i Pro because I know a lot of you like using the numpad. I'm not a personal numpad user, but I know a lot of my audience comments and says that they do. Now regarding the trackpad, it looks like the HP Omen trackpad might be slightly bigger. Yeah, it's just ever so slightly bigger than the Legion 5i Pro, a little bit quieter. However, they both feel very nice beneath my finger. They have a nice satisfying click. Just the HP Omen's a little softer click and the uh, Legion 5i Pro is a little snappier. Uh, also the keyboards, both feel good under my fingers. There's a slightly shorter key travel, I feel like on the Legion 5i Pro. That is the feeling I get beneath the keys. Um, and then they also feel just a little bit nicer plastic. Um, so keyboard deck, I would give the award to the Legion 5i Pro. Trackpad, I would lean towards the HP Omen. Now, in regards to a sample of me typing on the keyboards and using the trackpad, here's a quick audio sample for you. And if you want to hear what the speakers sound like, here's a quick audio sample of the speakers for each of the laptops. Now, in regards to the color gamut range and color accuracy of each of these laptops, they're both close to each other. Um, one will be a little bit better than the other, but really it's not gonna be a noticeable difference. They don't have high Adobe RGBs, they just have higher sRGBs. So that's good for video editing and Photoshop, Personally, I always like to try and see as high of an Adobe RGB as possible, but for these gaming laptops, if we can get a good high sRGB, we're gonna be in good business. Now, as far as screen brightness is concerned, the Legion 5i Pro is gonna be a brighter screen, and so if, you look, if you're looking for brightness, I'd go with the Legion 5i Pro. Now, as far as the customization inside of the different command centers, you're gonna have much more customization inside of the Lenovo Vantage Center as opposed to the HP Omen Command Center. You're gonna have a lot more more customization over here. You're gonna have different fan profiles, you're gonna have overclock GPU, you're gonna have network boost, you're gonna have a lot of different options for your GPU working mode. You're gonna be able to turn off the GPU, only use the GPU, turn off the integrated graphics, only use, like there's just so much you can do inside of the Legion Vantage Center compared to the HP Omen where basically you have some control over the fans and then you have control over a little bit of the CPU. And then of course you have a graphics switcher. So you can do discrete GPU mode or hybrid mode, and then you can just do balanced or performance. And then you can like control max fan versus auto fan and manual. It's just it's just less complex in, an, in a negative way. Like I like the complexity of the Vantage Center, but it's not complexity that's confusing. It's just very, very helpful. Um, so my uh, vote for the software in the system goes to the Legion 5i. Now, for battery life, the Legion 5i is also gonna be slightly better because of some of these key features. Again, you can do you know the panel saver mode, you can go ahead and go to iGPU only, you can do a lot of things that give you a slightly better battery life, and so on the go friendliness, my vote's gonna go to the Legion 5i Pro. 
All right, without further ado, let's jump into the performance section. And we're gonna start out in Cinebench R20, R23, Geekbench Single Core, and Multi-Core. Now for the simulated benchmarks, you can see that the Legion 5i Pro stands out in the Cinebench, but then the HP Omen stands out in Geekbench. So if you're a Geekbench lover, you're gonna get the HP Omen. If you're a Cinebench lover, you're gonna get the Legion 5i Pro. But life is not made up of simulated benchmarks, so let's get into the real world tests. Now, as we're looking at Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, and PTC Creo, you can see that the Legion 5i Pro is just slightly more optimized than the HP Omen in regards to those programs. And even as we head into SolidWorks, you're not gonna see a big performance difference, but it is a couple of points better than the HP Omen. So 3D modeling, my vote is going to lean towards the Legion 5i Pro. However, it's not going to be like your night and day difference better, but it is a better performing laptop. And moving on to After Effects, once again, we see a slight advantage going to the Legion 5i Pro over the HP Omen. Now, before we move on to video editing, if you hear my two-year-old in the background, he's going through some developmental stages. So he's fine. He just gets upset about a lot of things right now because his big brother's kind of a little more in control. And so he gets, gets kind of mad, but it's fine. He's totally fine. Okay, video editing. Now for video editing, the Legion 5i Pro is better except for 6K playback. I tried all kinds of things, but I could not get it lower than 3,000 drop frames on red footage. However, on 6K B-RAW, the Legion 5 I performed better by 100 drop frames. So it's 339 versus the 456 drop frames on the HP Omen. Now they both did very well for 4K playback. They both did very well for the export times but we definitely saw a better playback for red footage out of the HP Omen. Now the export times for B-RAW were better for the Legion 5i Pro, but the export time for red footage was better in the HP Omen. So a little bit of differences here, they're both, they're, they're very close. Now when I say better, it's, it's about 5% better, but it still is better nonetheless. Now one area where the HP Omen stands out is going to be in the thermals. At its highest performance level, so going on performance mode for the 4K export, it saw 68 degrees Celsius and a 50 decibel fan noise. Whereas with the Legion 5i Pro, we saw 72 degrees Celsius at 50 decibels. Now keep in mind that they both had almost the exact same export time, two minutes and 38 seconds versus two minutes and 39 seconds. Now, because of the higher customization inside of Lenovo Vantage, however, we saw more options for thermal management. So for instance, my favorite setting out of the Legion 5i Pro was quiet mode, hybrid. Okay, and what this did is it gave us a 76 degree Celsius thermal, 32 decibels of fan noise, and a two minute and 57 second export time. I just, I love that. I thought, what a quiet, comfortable export time. It just really made sense. And so I love the customization inside of the Legion 5i Pro. Now, in regards to the price point of these two laptops, this is gonna be anywhere from around $1,300 to $1,500 to $1,800. I mean, the scale is very sliding because there's so many options for the HP Omen. However, with the Legion 5i Pro, it's around $2,100 to $2,500, depending on when you buy it. Now, if you're curious about the exact live pricing, you can head down in the description below and click those links. Now, if you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way.